Hi, Maeve. Happy to be here. Allow your forehead to rest down if it's okay. And take some deep breaths into your back body, into your back rib cage, into your side rib cage, to your belly, and then nice full exhale, just reversing that sort of flow of breath. And then rise to hands and knees. And then take your right leg straight out to the right side. Your toes are gonna face forward. Good, beautiful. And then you're just gonna sink back and shift forward. I'm gonna do that a few times. Back and front. So nice. Beautiful, really nice. Good. Next time you shift forward, just take the right leg, sweep it back behind you. Left arm comes forward. And draw the belly up. So good, yes. Take a breath in. Elbow, knee come together. Inhale, extend, reach. And then exhale, contract and draw in. Good. Inhale, expand. And exhale, contract. Couple more like that. And then extend out. Keep the leg lifted. Bring the left hand to the ground. Tuck the left toes. And then three-legged dog, take the right leg up and back. If it feels good, you can open the front of that right hip, bend the right knee. Come back through center and right foot outside of your right hand. Back knee down. Beautiful. This is perfect. This doesn't have to change, but if you want, you can bend the back leg. You can find your foot with your hand and just open a bit here. Good. Yes. Good. Release the foot if you have it. Keep this angle, just straighten the front leg and shift back. Beautiful. Shift forward again, plant your hands, step to plank, breath in and plank. And then belly down, exhale. Cobra, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Beautiful. A full breath and release it out. Come forward onto your hands and your knees. And then send your left leg out to the left side. Good. Yeah, perfect. Good. And then go forward and back here. Beautiful. Just move with your breath. Good. Hmm. And then the next time you shift forward, sweep the left leg back. Bend the right arm forward. Take a few breaths, connect down into the ground, beautiful. Inhale, get longer, scoop the belly in and exhale, cross. Inhale, and exhale, good. A few more rounds like that, please, beautiful. Yes, 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 beautiful. Really nice. Excellent. 
And then hold it open. Release the hand down, tuck the toes on the right leg. And then three-legged dog, left leg to the sky. If it feels good, open the front of that left hip, bend the knee. And then back through center. And then left foot outside the left hand. Right knee down. You can stay just like this, or if you want, you can bend the back leg. You can reach back with your left hand, find the foot. There's like a little push-pull here. So you're gently pulling on the foot if you have it, and you're gently pushing the foot away so that you're not just all energy one direction. Really nice. If you have the foot, release it. And then straighten the front leg. Beautiful. Rebend the front leg. Step to plank, breath in. See your belly, exhale. Cobra, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. So nice. Take a few breaths here. Energetically drag your feet back and wide. Push your hands straight down. Inhale, lift your heels. Bend your knees. Look at the top of your mat. Walk, step, or lightly jump your feet to your heels. Halfway with your inhale. Fold with your exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, rise up to stand. Sweep the hands up to the sky. And then bring your hands into your heart. Exhale. Really nice. Just setting pacing and breath. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bow forward. Halfway, inhale. Fold back down, exhale. Rise to stand. Inhale, sweep to the sky. Yes, hands to your heart, exhale. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, bow forward. Halfway, inhale. And fold, exhale. Rise, inhale. And to heart, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bow. Halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise, inhale. Bring your hands to your heart, exhale, really beautiful. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bow forward. Come halfway with your inhale. Step your right foot back with your exhale. Right knee lightly to the ground. Inhale, Anjana Asana, rise up. Engage the right glute. And then release the hands down. Straighten your front leg, shift back. Beautiful. Shift forward. Step back to plank. Breath in and plank. Belly down, exhale. Arms overhead, legs stretch back, Shalabhasana. Gorgeous. Take a few breaths here. Make up that back body. Downward facing dog, exhale. Right leg back, inhale. Right foot forward, exhale. Left knee lightly down. Anjaneyasana, inhale. Exhale, hands to the ground. Straighten the front leg, shift back. Beautiful. Rebend the front leg. Step forward, top of the mat. Lengthen halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Inhale, rise. Sweep the hands to the sky. Send the heart to your thumb. Bow back down, exhale. Inhale, halfway. Left foot steps back. Left knee lightly down. Anjaneyasana, rise up, so good. Exhale, release the hands, straighten the front leg. Shift forward, step to plank, inhale. Belly down, exhale. Shalabhasana, inhale. 
Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg stretches back, inhale. Exhale, place your left foot forward. Right knee lightly down, Anjane Asana, inhale. And then exhale, straighten the front leg, shift back. Drew, uh, bend the front leg, step the back foot forward, come halfway with your inhale. And then fold with your exhale. Rise up, inhale. Hands into your heart, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bow. Halfway, inhale. Right foot steps back, exhale. Crescent pose, inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands down, straighten the front leg. Consider lifting the front toes. Yes, nice. And then bend the front leg. Back to plank, breath in. Chaturanga or the floor, you choose. Your back bend, curling and rising, any one of the ones we've done. Downward facing dog. Right leg stretches back, inhale. Right foot steps forward, exhale. Crescent, inhale. Hands release down, exhale. Straighten the front leg, maybe lift the toes. And then rebend the front leg, step forward, top of the mat. Come halfway with your inhale. Fold, exhale. Push the ground away, rise, inhale. Lift the heart, pause on the top, bow back down, exhale. Yes, halfway, inhale. Left foot steps back, exhale. Inhale, crescent, gorgeous. Release the hand. Straighten the front leg, consider lifting the toes. Rebend the front leg, step back, plank. Breath in, chaturanga or the floor. Up dog or your back bend of choice. Downward facing dog. Left leg stretches back, inhale. Left foot steps forward. Crescent, draw the feet toward each other to rise up. Release the hands down. Straighten the front leg, maybe lift the toes. And then rebend the front leg. Step top of your mat. Halfway, inhale. Bow, exhale. Push the ground away. Inhale, rise. Hands to your heart, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bow forward. Beautiful. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Plant your hand, chaturanga. Move through to down dog, whatever your pathway is. Yes, beautiful. Soft, even, steady breath. So even when we're in stillness, can you keep that rhythm of the breath going? Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise, inhale. Hands into your heart, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, rise open. Downward facing dog, exhale, really nice. Without your breath. Inhale, lift your heels. Bend your knees, stretch back. Look where you're going, feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale. Bow down, exhale. Push the ground away, inhale, rise up. Hands into your heart, exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bow forward. Halfway, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, up dog, cobra, shalabhasana, yes. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, right leg back. Right knee, right elbow, exhale, shift forward. 
Inhale back. Exhale, cross over to the left. Tap the elbow. Inhale back. Exhale, place your foot forward. Crescent pose, rise up. And then exhale, bring your hands into your heart. Left arm outside your right thigh, twisting to your right. Gorgeous, yes. Powerful back leg. Draw the feet toward each other. Your back heel, your left heel is going to root down. Come open to warrior two. So back heel, yes, gorgeous. Really nice, ladies. Really good. Beautiful at home, yes. Think a little deeper. Reverse warrior. Stay in the legs. Can you stay deep in the legs? You can take any arm variation that you like here. Beautiful. Yes, yes. And then with an inhale, straight in the front leg. Tip over triangle, trikonasana. Your hand can be on a block, on the floor, on your own shin. Gorgeous, yes. Really nice. Left hand comes down, bend the front leg, pivot onto the pinky side of the left foot, and then Vashisthasana, consider the right leg lifting up. And then Chaturanga. You can skip every single Chaturanga and go right to down dog. You can replace it with something else. From downward facing dog, left leg back, inhale. And then left knee, left elbow, exhale. Inhale back. And then exhale, cross to the right. Inhale back. Exhale, place your foot forward. Crescent pose, rising up. Gorgeous. Draw your hands into your heart. And right arm outside, left leg. Powerful back leg. Pull the feet toward each other. Draw the heart forward. Initiate from the back heel. Back heel starts to root down. That's just to draw you open, Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Continue to draw the feet toward each other. See if you can sink a little deeper. Keep this depth. Reverse warrior, inhale. Mm. So I'm a big fan of you exploring your practice. So even if I don't say that you have the liberty of exploring different variations, I want you to do that. Straighten the front leg and then tipping over triangle. Yes. Stand heavy on both feet. Expand across your collarbone. Last breath in. And then right hand comes down. Pivot over to the pinky side of the right foot. Vashisthasana, right hand, right foot. Consider picking up this left knee. Uh, 
And then make your way to downward facing dog. Really nice. Mm hmm. Inhale high to your toes. Bend your knees. Look forward, feet to hands. Halfway inhale. Fold, exhale. Chair, inhale. And then pick up your heels. Come into a toe stand. Good. Yes, beautiful. Good. So if you need to, you put your heels down, but see if you can keep the heels lifted. Bring your hands into your heart. Take a little pause here. Keep the heart rising up. And we're gonna twist. Left arm outside of right thigh. Outer ankles in. Yes, beautiful. Come back to center. Heels down chair. Mm -hmm. And then pick the heels back up. Mm -hmm. Hands into your heart, gorgeous. And then we twist the other way. Come back to center, inhale. Heels down, forward fold, exhale. Halfway, inhale. Make your way back, downward facing dog, with or without chaturanga vinyasa. Your call on that. Yes. Beautiful. Steady, even breath. Steady, even breath. Inhale, right leg back. Right knee, right elbow, exhale. Inhale back. Cross to the left, exhale. Inhale back. Exhale, place the foot forward. Draw the feet toward each other to rise up, crescent pose. Hands into your heart. Left arm outside your right thigh. Maybe expand the arms this time. Beautiful. Couple breaths here. Really nice. Back heel roots down, warrior two. Sink a little deeper. Reverse warrior. Straighten the front leg and triangle. Left hand releases down. Left hand, left foot, Vashisasana. Maybe pick up this right knee. And an option to put the right foot behind the left foot on the ground, or the left leg, I should say, and come into wild thing. Gorgeous. Yes. So good. Inhale, come back around. And chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, open up. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg back, inhale. Left knee, left elbow, exhale. Inhale, back. Exhale, cross to the right. Inhale, back. Exhale, place your foot forward. Good. Press your feet down. Draw them toward each other to rise into crescent. Hands into heart. Right arm outside, left leg. Twist it, maybe open the arms this time. Back leg crazy strong. Yes, yes, yes. And then back heel starts to root down. And that pulls you out of the twist and into warrior two. Adjust your feet however you need to. Sink a little deeper. And then reverse warrior. Yes. Straighten your front leg. And then triangle. <clears throat> Beautiful. Release the right hand down. Vashisthasana, right hand, right foot. Left knee lifts, perhaps. And an option to take it into wild.
Inhale, come around. Exhale, chaturanga. Rise, inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Really good. Inhale to your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, feet to hands. Halfway inhale. And fold, exhale. Chair, inhale. And then sink into a toe stand, this time a lot deeper. Good. So try to get your heels and your sitting bones closer together. Fantastic. Beautiful. Take a few breaths here. So for me, my calves are really big. I can just sit here for like ever and ever and ever. Lift up like two inches. Yes. So really sort of challenge that you're doing the work and you're not just resting down in the leg. And then hands come down. Come onto your fingertips and then lift your hips up a bit. Stay on the toes and then turn your knees to the left. Good, yes, perfect. Take your hands a little more forward than you think. So like, you wanna be here, I know. Take them forward a little bit, good. And then tip forward. You don't have to leave the ground, but maybe you do. And when you tip forward, you have to lift your butt up and then that's gonna take you into the arm balance. Good, come back to center. Come into a toe stand again. And then sink down to your hips, Navasana. Boat pose. Good. Yes, yes. Beautiful. I broke my tailbone like two months ago, maybe three months ago. I don't know how long it's been now. And I can finally start to do boat pose and it's like happy day for me, which I know doesn't seem like it would be a happy day when you can do boat pose without an excuse, but it's a happy day. Good, come back into chair and then back to toe stand. Find that strength here and then release your hands down. Come on to your fingertips, lift your booty up, take your knees to the right. I almost forgot which way we're going. Knees to the right, beautiful, yep. And then hands come forward a little bit, and here's why. The shift to get to your arms helps to lift you up, I swear on my life. So take the hands a little further forward than you think, and then you have to lift up your butt to get there. And then that kind of puts you in position just to be there. And then maybe your feet just float up. And then pick up your heart, pick up your gaze, Yes. And then come back into center. Beautiful modifications. And then back into boat pose. Navasana. Yes. Cross at your shins. Take it back to down dog in some form or fashion. Really nice. Take a few breaths in downward facing dog. Just settle your breath. Smooth it out. Mm -hmm. Good. Take a breath in. And with your exhale, right knee to your chest, place your right foot forward. Come up into half moon, right hand forward out to the side. Use a block if you've got it. Expand across the chest. Option to bend the top leg, find your foot with your hand, and then kick your foot away. You have the foot, pull the heel toward your sitting bone, release the foot, and then re-extend the leg out. Bend both of your knees, bend both of your knees, and then come through chair, barely put that left foot down, and then left knee rises up. Good. Reach down for your left knee with your left hand or reach for your big toe with your left hand. You don't get bonus points for getting your foot, but you can try it and 
maybe not even straighten your leg. That's perfect. That's perfect. Gorgeous. And then open the leg out to the left. Come back to center, arms up, leg out. Reach the heart to the sky. Push down into that standing leg. Yes, 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 beautiful. Take the left leg through. Bring the hands down to the ground. You can either step back to plank or from here if you want, take your hands a little forward and rock up, maybe find a handstand. And then when you're ready, take it back and through to down dog, really nice. I give you options, they are yours to take or to leave off. Take a few breaths in downward facing dog. Very nice. Take an inhale. With your exhale, draw your left knee into your chest and place your left foot forward. Doesn't have to get all the way up because we're going to be into half moon. So you can be a little shy at the top of your mat. And then once in half moon, option to bend the top leg and find your foot and then kick the foot away. Really nice. Fantastic. If you have the foot, pull it toward you to release and then open back up. Yep. Good, good, good. And then bend both of your knees. Like you're going to come into chair pose. Barely touch that right foot down. Maybe not at all. And then rise up with that right knee lifted. Reach down for the knee. Maybe for the big toe. So good. Yes, yes. Beautiful. And then open out to the side. Mm -hmm. Stay in your breath. Inhale, come back to center. Arms up, leg out. And then press that right leg through, hands come down to the ground. You can just transition back to plank here if you want. You can pause, take a standing split, or you can start to take some little hops, moving in the direction of handstand. Yes. And then back to down dog when you're ready. Beautiful. Inhale, right leg draws back and place it forward. This time, lift the left leg, come forward, heart forward. Right hand to your right hip, left leg bend. Turn to the right, turn to the right. Yes. Option to reach back with your right hand to your left foot and then push it away. Yes, yes. Revolved half moon. Really nice. If you have the foot, gently release it. Draw that left knee toward your chest. Rise up. Good. So just like we did from half moon, beautiful. Right hand to your left knee or maybe to your foot. And then twist. Come back through center, leg lift, and then come through. You're passing through either a standing split, maybe through a handstand, and then making your way back to down dog. Yes. Beautiful.
Left leg back, inhale. Left foot comes forward. Good. Take the hands forward, lift the right leg up. Left hand to your left hip, and then bend the right knee. Turn to the left with your chest. Maybe find the foot with your hand. You don't have to take this version. Revolved half moon. You can have a straight back leg if you prefer. Totally up to you. Yes. And then release the foot if you have it. Come through center. Pass through like you're gonna go to chair. Lift that right knee up. Reach down for the knee or for the foot and then twist. Yes. Come back around to center. Press the leg through. And then make your way back to down dog. However you want. I'll give you a few breaths to play. Really good. If you need a child's pose, you have time. You've got about five breaths here. Smooth out your breath. Even, soft, steady. And if you're ready, come back to down dog. If you need more time, take the time. And you'll come back when you're ready. Strong foundation, feet dragging back, hands pressing down. Going back to that sequence we first did. Well, not first, but you'll see. Right leg back, inhale. Little changes to it. Right knee, right elbow. Come forward, stay forward. Maybe bend the elbows. Maybe extend the right leg. Maybe push off and then take it up and back. And then right knee, left elbow. Pause, stay here. Maybe hip forward. Lift the back leg. And then inhale up and back. Right foot comes forward. Crescent inhale. Hands to heart exhale. Left arm outside the right thigh. Twist it. Maybe a new twist. Maybe wrap it. Yeah. And then warrior two. Open up. Reverse inhale. And straighten the front leg triangle. Left hand down. Vashi Sasana. Right knee lift, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe take the big toe and take that leg to the sky. Wild thing optional. Now listen. Right foot top of the mat. Left hand stays down, right hand to your right hip. Left leg bends, find the foot if it feels okay, and then turn open. Yes, revolve half moon. And then pass through chair, left foot barely touches the ground, left knee rises up, and then find your twist. Come back around through center. And then make your way back to down dog. All the same options. Stand. And then pause and dog. Just receive all that. Have the courage to stay in for the second side. Modify, make it your own, do whatever you need to. Left leg back, inhale. Left knee, left elbow. 
little pause, maybe shift forward, maybe extend that left leg out, find chaturanga in the arms, and then lift up. Left leg up and back, and then cross over to the right. Stay and breathe. Maybe extend the leg. Maybe lift up. Kundinyasa. Inhale, up and back. And then place the left foot forward. Crescent, rise up. Exhale, twist. Maybe a variation, maybe wrap it. And warrior two, open up. So nice, so nice. Reverse inhale. Front leg straighten and triangle. Right hand releases down. Vashtasana, maybe bring this left foot with you. And an option for wild thing. And then left foot steps toward the top of the mat. It might not make it all the way and that's quite all right. Right hand stays down. Give yourself some space here. Lift the right leg up, left hand to your hip. Start to turn the chest to the left. You don't have to take the back foot. You can keep this classical revolved half moon. If you want, bend the back leg, find the foot, kick away. Yes. Pass through chair. Right foot barely touches the ground. And then rise again. Left hand to right leg, and we twist. So good. Come back through center. Your path back to downward facing dog. Last time here. Yes. Really, really nice. Good. Bring both knees down to the ground. And then rise up. Hands on your hips. Belly button to pubic bone, shortens. Sternum to belly button, shortens. Inhale, lift the heart. Use your glutes, so hips are stabilizing you. Use your feet. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Good, yep. Send your heart to the sky. Rise, inhale, and then hips to heels. If it's okay on your knees, if not, pick, pick something else. A couple breaths here. Inhale, rise back up. Good. Lift the heart. Take the arms up. And then right hand is gonna drop back behind you. And if you come to your right heel, it can come over to your left heel. It's totally your call. So we're just a little twist in camel. Beautiful. Really nice. Put your feet down, squeeze your glutes. Rise up. And then go right into the other side. The left hand comes back. It can come to your left heel, to your right heel. Use your feet, catch. Use your glutes, catch. Inhale, rise up. Press down to come up. And then exhale, sink back. Beautiful. Inhale, rise back up. Good. Any one of those. So you can just come into any version of Ustrasana that you want. So maybe it's that twisting. Maybe it's both hands back to the heels or to the hamstrings. Find what works for you. Gorgeous, yes. Inhale, rise up. 
and then right foot steps forward. Good. Not too, too far forward. Kind of like a right angle here. Good. Inhale, reach up, Anjane Asana. And then release the hands back to the hips. Good, so same approach that you had in, like this is camel on the left leg, right? If you ignore the right leg, it's basically camel. So coming back, any amount, maybe that left hand comes to your left heel, maybe the right hand comes back. See if I find it today. Yep. Gorgeous, yes. Inhale, rise up. And then straighten the front leg. Ardha Hanumanasana, you can adjust your stance longer, gorgeous. You can stay here, this is perfect. If you wanna expand this, you can send that right leg forward any amount. Good. Energetically, the legs draw toward each other. It doesn't matter which version you're in. So there's a sense of pulling the feet toward each other. If you extended the front leg, carefully draw it back. Free bend the front knee. Tuck the back toes, go straight to down dog. And then knees back down, left foot comes forward. And Anjane Asana, left leg forward. Yeah. Good, send your heart to the sky. So starting that back bend, hands come to the hips if it's okay. And then maybe right hand comes like to your knee or to your calf or maybe to the heel. Mm -hmm. Good, Riley. And then left hand can come around if it's there for you. Use the right hip. A lot. Use the front foot a lot. Push down, rise up. And then straighten the front leg. Half splits or full splits, you choose. When you ask me, Beautiful. And then if you took the front leg forward, carefully draw it back. Rebend the front leg, step directly back to downward facing dog. And then knees to the ground and have a seat. All right, so you can either cross your right shin in front of your left shin, or you can stack your left shin on top of your right shin. So I'm gonna let you decide what feels good here. Yeah, so nice. Beautiful. And then move around a little bit, kind of feel where you are in space, start to get your sitting bones to ground down a little more. When you've kind of found your center, where you find that sort of equilibrium between the sides, equanimity, then maybe come forward. I encourage you to adjust in this pose as much as you need to. So as your body gets acclimated, as it maybe starts to feel more open, if you want to take it deeper or adjust where the feet are, go for it. You don't have to just get there and be there.
Really nice. Rise up with an inhale. And then switching sides. And then kind of do the same thing. Settle in, move around as needed. Find your center. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And then if it feels good, you can start to move forward. So nice. In these moments of still, notice the rhythm of your breath and see if you can still keep it a constant to how it felt when we were, when we were moving, when we were flowing. So your breath becomes like a metronome to your practice, to your body. your inhale rise up good take your legs out wide hands can come behind if it feels good push your heels down kind of drag your heels energetically towards your sitting bones and then press back down so a little like hamstring awakening and then press down gorgeous mm -hmm. you can come forward if you like you don't have to Your forward, rise up carefully, and then decide if you want to lie down for Shavasana. If you'd rather stay seated and finish your practice in meditation, you can just stay seated. It's totally up to you how you want to finish today. So listen to your body, set it up. If you need a twist before you go into your final stillness, do that. are ready to be still just allow your eyes to release it doesn't mean that they have to close it just means that the need to grab on and take in information with the eyes becomes softer quieter allow your breath to still and become passive and easy
Allow your breath to deepen. Start to become aware of your body and when you're ready, if you're lying down, reach the arms overhead. And then bend your knees and roll to your side. And then come up to sitting gently. And then once you are seated, bring your hands together at your heart. So the theme here in the studio this week is I am courageous. And just think about what that means to you and ways in which you feel courageous and ways in which you feel challenged to be more courageous or maybe even someone who you view as courageous and qualities in that that you'd like to embody. Sometimes just getting on your mat is an act of courage. Inhale, draw tall. Exhale, bow your mind to your heart. Rise with your inhale, eyes open gently. Thank you, thank you for your practice. Thank you for your practice. Thank you for your practice. Okay. Have a great day. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for being here.